Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing an example on how to add and subtract vectors but using a real life application. So, say there was an airplane flying east at 100 miles an hour um, and the wind was blowing 20 miles an hour towards uh, 60 degrees north of east. What is the resulting speed of the plane? Okay, so you make one vector for the plane, so P is the vector of the plane, and it's going at 100 miles an hour, we'll say 100i is the equation. Then we have the speed of the wind, so we kind of have to draw that out to show um, the wind blowing at 20 miles an hour towards uh, or 60 degrees north of east, so I'll get into that in a second, how we draw that out, but how I got W in a second. Um, but the question is, what is the resulting speed of the plane? So resulting speed will be r. Um, we can make that the r vector, simply adding those two vectors together. Now, here's what the vectors look like um, on their own. So uh, for vector p, so the one in orange, is simply 100 miles an hour flying directly east, so directly to the right in this case. Um, now, how we figured out the 20 miles an hour, 60 degrees north of east, well, you simply draw that triangle, that angle, 60 degrees, um, and you know that the hypotenuse is 20. Well, using your knowledge of uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles, you can figure out that the side is 10 and 10 radical 3. Um, and then you can make your vector, W, for wind, to be 10i plus 10 radical 3j. So now we want to solve for the, uh, or add the two vectors together. So you simply do just that. Um, you take your p vector, 100i, and then you add uh, your w vector for the wind. So you have the plane and the wind speed. You simply add the same components, so 110, 100i plus 10i is 110i, and plus 10 radical 3j. So you simply added the components to get your resulting vector. Now this is what it looks like. Um, so orange is the p vector, the wind is uh, the wind, or the w vector. And then we have the resulting direction of the plane as a result. So you notice that green thing, that's theta. Um, if we want to calculate the degrees, um, if we want to first calculate the magnitude, uh, we'll start with that, I guess, first. You simply just do the square root of each component um, after you square each term. So 100 squared plus 10 radical 3 squared, take the square root, and that's your magnitude. So we're flying at 113, or excuse me, 111.3 miles per hour. Now, the theta, if you want to know how, what angle you're flying at, simply uh, the, to figure out that angle, you can use your knowledge of uh, trigonometry and know that tangent is opposite over hypotenuse to get that angle. So you would take the inverse tangent of your opposite, which is 10 radical 3, over your p vector, which is 110. Um, so for the combination of the resulting vector and then you would get 8.95 degrees and that's the direction in which you're traveling therefore you can conclude that the plane is flying 113 excuse me 111.3 miles per hour in the direction 8.95 north degrees north of east so again this is the 110 i and this is the 10 radical 3 portion um, so that's how you you would use uh, vectors, I guess, in real life or a practical application if you want to see what they're more involved uh, with. So I uh, hope this helped with the example, and good luck practicing.